Hello dear travelers, this is Vera from Fibre Tours and no matter what weather it is in St. Petersburg, it's always a good idea to go to the Hermitage Museum. Yes, I'm finally taking you to the Hermitage Museum, the one which is located in the Winter Palace, the former residence of our emperors. All of the great historical facts and details about the art collection of this famous museum you will be able to learn uh, from our professional guides of Fibre Tours team, so today I will be showing can you with only cool wow facts let's start Entire world knows how the Hermitage Museum looks like. It's green or emerald colored with white columns and yellow chapters. But not a lot of people know that actually the palace changed the colors several times and was repainted in the colors we know right now only in 1946. Its original color is ochre and during the different historical periods uh, the palace was even terracotta which really hard to imagine. Right now scientific staff of the Hermitage Museum deciding to get back to its original color as Bartolomeo Rastrelli conceived it. Uh, it's not decided yet, but of course these kind of decisions has to be taken really seriously. In 1844, Nicholas I signed a decree that established the maximum height of the buildings in St. Petersburg city center, 22 meters. Thus, private residential buildings could not exceed the height of the Winter Palace, which wasn't mentioned directly in the decree, but everybody understood what it was all about. We are getting closer to the entrance of the uh, Hermitage Museum. This is the main entrance, so let's get inside and I will show you how to get the tickets. If you come here with a group or with a pre-booked private tour with the guide, then uh, your guide will have a special voucher which will allow you to go straight to the entrance and not to stay in line, which is for sure great. But if you come here on your own, you can get inside and buy your ticket at the regular ticket office or there is also a machine where from where you can buy a ticket and I will show you how to do this. So let's go. So we are in the inner yard of the Winter Palace and if you go, you know, straight forward, uh, there will be the main entrance and uh, with the ticket offices. But as I have told you, there are machines where you can buy tickets. That's how they look like. There are usually no queues. But in these machines, you can buy like, you know, a general ticket to the main uh, museum in the Winter Palace and also to the general staff building. That's where the um, exhibition of the Impressionists is taking place. Uh, uh, so that you know you can buy your tickets over here the menu is in English uh, let's go over there and I will get my regular ticket We are inside. The price for the ticket uh, cost us 700 rubles. Uh, with this uh, ticket includes uh, the visits to the main uh, museum in the Winter Palace and also general staff building. Once you enter, this is the Jordanian Gallery. Here you can actually get an audio guide if you come here on your own. The price for audio guide is 500 rubles. And in order to get it, you will need to leave one document or 2,000 troubles which you will get back once you return the equipment i would like us to go over there this is the main staircase um, the one which will lead you to the second floor that's where all of the major uh, holes are located In the 18th 
century, this staircase used to be called Ambassadorial, but then it was recalled to the Jordanian because this staircase was the one which was used by the royal family during the Feast of Epiphany in order to get to the Neva River where a hole in the shape of a cross was cut in the ice for the consecration of water. Please take a look up! It's impossible to skip Hermitage in your travel plan if you are in St. Petersburg. The collection of the museum has over 3 million works of art from the Stone Age to our century. A walk through all 350 exhibition halls is 22 kilometers, and if you spend one minute at each exhibit or a painting, you will need eight years to see an entire museum. I've been myself to the Hermitage at least 50 times and I'm sure I haven't seen it all. So I'm just gonna spend 30 seconds over here. Mm. The building itself is called the Winter Palace and that's where the royal family used to live during the winter time. In summer they would just move to the summer residences of Peterhof and Pavlovsk. And actually this palace is the fifth one and the largest one. Here are 1057 rooms and 117 staircases. A high class gym, you know. So I would just, you know, use this throne to take a seat and relax for a little. Let's go, let's go. Another interesting fact about the Hermitage Museum, on the 28th of March, the museum celebrates such an event called the Hermitage Cat Day. And the question is why? The story is surely entertaining. The thing is that there were a lot of mice in the young capital of Russia, St. Petersburg, and the Empress uh, Elizaveta Petrovna, the daughter of uh, Peter the Great, found out that in Kazan there is a special breed of fighting cats, so she ordered to catch the large just 30 cats uh, and to take them to St. Petersburg to the Winter Palace to catch mice. For sure the problem was solved but there are still plenty of cats in the Hermitage and in order to feed them there is a separate expense item in the museum's budget. <laughs> According to the results of the psychological survey, only 18% of the Hermitage visitors are local residents and depending on the season, the tourist flow from like 80 to 84% are foreigners and actually Hermitage is called the first place to see in St. Petersburg. Peterhof is on the second place. Take a look, right now we spring and still a lot of tourists all over the world.
1764 is considered to be the foundation date of the Hermitage, and the museum celebrates its birthday on the 7th of December, St. Catherine's Day, because Catherine II was the one who purchased a collection of paintings from the Berlin merchant and actually started the collection of this world-famous museum. The building was initially given this name because of its exclusivity. In its early days, only very few people were allowed to visit it. In 2001, the palace became a real film stage. A Russian film director, Alexander Sakurov, shot his film The Russian Ark in the walls of the Winter Palace. The movie was made with only one shot and became the first full-length feature movie without editing. So one of the scenes uh, was taken over here. Dear travelers, right now as a bonus, I would like to take you to one of my favorite rooms in the Winter Palace. It's called the Library of the Emperor Nicholas II. And to me, I know it's absolutely amazing. It's very cozy, you know, it just offers you to sit and to read a book. I can picture myself taking these stairs on the second level and, you know, taking my time to pick the right book for the good mood. Oh, amazing. So dear friends, we visited with you today the Winter Palace and the Hermitage Museum. Uh, no doubt you will be here if you are in St. Petersburg. Just please make sure to wear comfortable shoes and be ready to spend here at least a couple of hours. Thank you very much for watching. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.